What is up, Turf Team? It's your Troy Rock Combo, a.k.a. the Professor on the Sticks. We got a game versus Juicy Beast. This guy's in the group stage of the DC tournament in, in Dubby's group, I believe. I, I could be correct on that. So, I've got a good opponent here, so let's 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 get into it. It's uh, a little bit of an older gameplay. I've actually gone through and trying to get rid of a bunch of files, clear a lot of stuff out. So, um, I have this, and then one other pretty good game against a pretty good player, so... Uh, and then everything else I'm, I'm getting rid of. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed this. I think you're gonna enjoy this game. It's a, <laughs> there's a there's a crazy interception at the very end. So you definitely want to see that. And be sure to leave a like. I appreciate that. And leave a comment as well, man. We gotta get some more comments in this building, man. We gotta get some more comments and get some get some discussion going. I posted a tip a couple days ago as well. And let me know, you know, if there's anything y'all want me to post, and, I, and I'll and I'll try to do that for y'all. So let's jump into it here. I'm up 3-0. I got a pick. I had to get a field goal out of it. He played pretty good defense. This is uh, Dr. Sim, Dr. Random. He, play, he plays very different, um, I know, and I've seen him play, you know, against a couple different streamers, you know, trying to qualify, and he's very random, so... It's uh, he's 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 good. I think he's gonna you know be pretty tough in the DC tournament because of how how random he is and uh, he goes to five wide and different stuff like that. So here we are, first and ten. He I don't know what kind of throw that was. I don't really think that was a good decision on his part. I think that was a pretty poor decision. Uh, so he's moving down the field though. Third and ten hits me with a quick out to make it what fourth and four. But he's going for it, and so he sees me. I'm in a cover one. Those little quick outs do a pretty good job of that. So, you know, one way to counter that is, is to put those corners on there on the man. First off, on first and goal, second and goal from the four, I don't really – third and goal from the three-yard line, I mean, that is just terrible decision-making. Like, you know, you, you can't you can't win a tournament and have that kind of decision-making. That, that's really bad. But, um, you know, to counter that, those little baby outs, what you can do is you can put those those corners and flats, take those away, and, and like, man up like the defensive end, stuff like that. So – um, if you run that that cover one from two three six, it's very good defense. Um, however, those little baby outs can uh, can get you, so you got to be aware of that. And but you can definitely counter. There's everything. Or you can counter pretty much everything in this game. So third and four here. Uh, my corner out was nothing open. Nothing's really open. He did a very good job of some coverage defense. So I had to throw the ball away. Fourth and four here. Minute and a half left until halftime. And Played, played all out man coverage and really did a good job lock, locking me up. Um, nothing was really open right there. So, first and 10, he has the ball to 20. Running and gunning for seven yards, it looks like. with that is that Dak Prescott, I believe? And Montgomery gets the first down there. First and goal, 44 seconds left. And look at this. This was a dime. That was a great play, a great out that uh, you cannot man guard at all. So, very good play on his part. Second and ten, make it to third and one, and we got a cross around across the middle, and he overran that. So you might say, man, that was not a good read. I don't think it was necessarily a bad read because he overran the play. He was three yards away. So um, overall, it probably wasn't the best read, but right here, dot, dot, dot to Molly right there. <laughs> Woo! That was a hot one. He put his safety, he manned up his, so he ran uh, two man under, right? And he put his deep safety on the left side of the field. He manned him up, or he he ran. I, don't, I think it was two man under, but maybe not. But he manned up or put his deep safety in, in a in a flat there on that left side. So it was one on one coverage versus that double move route, and just lob it up. That's gonna be an easy touchdown every single time. So once again, he's really struggling. His offense is struggling to move the ball. So I'm playing really good defense, but he's playing good defense too. He's mixing in. I can all, he either does an all out blitz or <laughs> he's blitzing three. So. He does a very good job of mixing that in, and so it's it's hard to kind of get a read on what he's doing. As you can see right there, he blitzed, he blitzed the crib where the play before he didn't. Uh, kind of hurdle as I go out, out of bounds there. Playing some good coverage defense here in the red zone. Nothing's open. Okay, so my red zone offense has been struggling this game. I've already had to come, come away with one field goal, and it's not looking too good right now. Third in goal. Let's see if I can manufacture something. I'm looking for the back of the end zone to X, but he's pretty well guarded. I didn't want to. I didn't want to force the turnover. My defense has been holding strong. Got to make sure he make sure that he has to execute here. So he's going to five wide here, motioning out a little drag route across the middle. Second and five. He's running the ball to the right. Very good. Sitting the blitz from from the left. 
So here we go, big play here, third in inches. He's ran quarterback sneak a few different times this game, so I come out in sneak D. And fourth and one, I did not think after I showed him I can blow up the sneak, I did not think he was going to come out in QB sneak again. I thought I was really worried about the toss. And sometimes when on my QB sneak defense, if you don't do a good job, you can uh, they they can crib like a toss every once in a while, for some for whatever reason it's it's just crazy. So I just did not want that to happen. So I, I essentially conceded the QB sneak. So good play on his part. I was not expecting that though. And here we go, play of the game. This was a great pick. Terrible on his part. So I think he's made a couple bad decisions this game. It was only second and eight. He picked up the blitz. He's rolling right. And, I mean, it's, that's, that's not the read. That's not a good read. So, he picks it off. All I have to do is execute an offense, and this game will be over. Can I do it? First and ten, he, of course, he sacks me. And this play was the worst. Look at RB. Wide open. Even Y on the drag out was open. For, for whatever reason, I was focused on the left side of the field there and made a terrible read. And, look, this time, once again, he's blitzing crib, third and 29. I hit him with a nice quick drag. To make it fourth and manageable, but I decide once again, hey, I'm playing lockdown defense. I don't think this cat can move the ball. He's in a box, so let's let's punt punt on the ball. And luckily, we're able to bring down Montgomery there before he really, uh, you know, shook loose there. So he's rolling right, and oof, somebody was, mm, I don't know, that was not that wasn't a good play there. So second and ten here, he's trying to pick up the blitz, and I'm screaming B gap and edge, but he gets a nice first down there. So here we go. First and 10 around midfield here. He's running base for nothing. Second and what, 11 probably? Yeah, second and 11. Looks like he's trying to... <laughs> this is the crazy pick. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. That was insane. So let's do this again. Look, second and 11. He's trying to throw to the running back. Hits him off the helmet, and my linebacker picks it off to make that GG, no re, to Juicy Beast. And uh, he sends me a few messages, you know, of course has to cap at me saying, you know, EA and all that. But at the same point, you do have to take, I mean, you had plenty of chances. You put up seven points. It's very hard to score, uh, to win a game if you only put up seven points. That was definitely unfortunate. An insane pick, though. So I'm just going to nil out the ball. Good game to him. Good luck to him in groups. Um, definitely hope Dubby comes out of that group. But either way. Hope you guys enjoyed the game. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't. Go to MadnTurf.com. We got some great content out there. And our premium membership is now half, less than half the cost. So definitely, definitely take advantage of that. And we'll see you on the sticks.